that varying pieces of evidence have now been handed over to various law enforcement agencies in the Broward that know things about what happened in Broward County and Palm Beach. Can you confirm that? No. And Sean, it's a pending criminal investigation. FDLE has opened a hotline with us. Folks can call in if they have information, but right now it is a pending criminal investigation. I laid out in my letter why we do believe there's plenty of reasonable suspicion for criminal activity, and that investigation will continue. On the flip side, we're working tirelessly right now constantly on the civil suits that are being filed, frankly not by Bill Nelson, but by everybody who's using him as a pawn. Explain, before we get to that, we do know laws were broken. And we do know, for example, law about 30 minutes after the polls close. You're supposed to report. You're supposed to report every 45 minutes. Um, other laws that we know have been broken. It seems like there certainly has been mishandling. I mean, if all of a sudden you find a back, box of ballots in a rental car in Tampa from Broward County, that seems pretty problematic to me. Um, on the th laws that we know were broken, or what the, the judge on Friday said was the Florida Constitution not being abided by, what, what happens in those cases? Well, Sean, everything is being reviewed and looked at as it comes in. And again, citizens, if you have more to bring, it to, bring to us, bring it to us, please. Call the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And that's why we're not waiting until this is over. We've started a criminal investigation now. I can't discuss any more about it because it is ongoing. Um, and that's much different than the civil lawsuits that have been found. But it's very serious. We're taking it very seriously. Law enforcement's taking it very seriously because it's the integrity of our elections. Putting aside the recount in 2000, you have 2004, we have problems, 2012, 2014, 2016, 17, and in August of last year, we had a judge's ruling about misconduct in, in a particular election. And my question is, how is it even possible with all of those violations leading up to this that the very same people were in place? I think uh, the people of Florida and the country need to know this is not just a Florida issue. This impacts the whole country. It sure does. It does. It's the integrity of our, our democracy, our election. This is a bedrock of, um, of which we're founded, our country. And that's why we're taking it so very important. But ethically, I cannot talk about a pending criminal investigation. You should be a prosecutor, though, because you've, you've come up with some very good points that I think law enforcement, um, I'm certain, are taking into consideration. All right, Pam Bondi, thanks. We will update this, obviously, until we get the, the results. Of course, another delay because the machine got heated in the recount in Palm Beach. The machines don't work. It's unbelievable. Pam Bondi, thank you.